How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to be installing this A2 flash hider using a crush washer onto this AR. Now crush washers are probably the most popular way. In fact, if you buy, you know, an off the shelf rifle that comes with some type of muzzle device on it, it's probably on there using a crush washer. But there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. So let's just go over step by step. This is going to be a lot easier if I put this into a vise. I like using this type of vice block just because I don't have to take my scope off. <laughs> it just mounts up into the bottom and then and then this part we go ahead and mount into a vice. So we've got our upper mounted securely in a vice. It's not going anywhere. Now let's go ahead and start putting the muzzle device on. The crush washer needs to be installed so that this concave section is pushed up against the muzzle device. Now in some cases if you have a you know a huge barrel it could be the other way around depending on the muzzle device and the barrel. Basically this concave section needs to be completely up against a surface and in most cases that's the muzzle device itself. Now just to be clear the smaller end of the crush washer facing the shooter. So I go ahead and put the crush washer on to the barrel first. Hand tight this muzzle device onto the barrel pushing against the crush washer. You have to use a wrench that will work with your muzzle device. I tend to find this AR Armors wrench will get most muzzle devices that you're trying to put on. In this case, I'm using a, the three quarter inch. The one thing to keep in mind is you want to go at least a quarter turn and then time the device. Timing the device just means that if you have a device that was designed to be oriented a certain way on the barrel, it's just lining that up. So you can see on this device, the bottom has no ports. That's supposed to face downwards. And the reason for that is to reduce dust signature and other things like that. But you want the ports facing upwards because that'll help reduce muzzle rise. You have some kind of compensator properties there, I guess, where you're reducing muzzle rise and things like that. So I want this to be oriented this way on the barrel. The solid bottom facing down and the ports facing upwards. I go my quarter turn. You can maybe see now that it's actually not timed properly. The bottom, the solid portion is over here. It's facing this side. So I need to turn it further. You need to do the at least quarter turn because that's what gives you the 20, 25 foot pound pressure that the device needs to be set to. To get timed correctly, you may have to do what they call pre-crushing the washer. So it'll be, I'll tighten it, back it off a little. Tighten it, back it off a little until I can get it timed. Your last tightening though, you don't want to back off from there. You want your last quarter turn to line your device up with the orientation in the barrel that it was designed to be. So let's show you what that looks like. And I don't have to go very far in this case, so I don't need to pre-crush. I don't need to go back and forward. So I'm just going to continue until this device is timed properly. And there we have it. Once you get it timed, you don't want to back it off. If you back this off, you need to replace the crush washer. Hopefully you can see now, maybe, that this crush washer has been compressed a little bit. As soon as you back this off, you lose that benefit, you lose that foot pound pressure of the crush washer holding the device into place. So anytime you take your muzzle device on or off, if you're using a crush washer, you got to use a brand new one. And she's on there. If this video helped you out, maybe subscribe. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Neckbone out.